Bang! Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregate news show on YouTube. Look, look, look. There's going to be drinking, bang, smoking, bang, cursing, fuck shit, damn. If you can't handle that, you don't want to be watching this because here I come in three, two, one. Three, two, one. Bang! Yes, brothers. Bang! We got some news today, brothers. We got some good show today. Oh, yes, we do. Look, 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 look. And even you, Ripple Lovers. Look, look, Ripple Lovers. Yeah, Shamari's got a little something for your motherfuckers, too. Look, first story of the day. Ripple Partner reveals the plan for the XRP. So, we heard that a few banks, well, uh, financial institutions started using Ripple's XRPs at the beginning of this year. And, well, bang, here's the plan of one of them. Now, it ain't no world takeover, but it is something. You can't conquer a country unless you take over the first city. So here you go. Bang, Ripple Lovers. Then, look, look, look. Now let's get to the real money, though. B-Chain. Oh, and I had one for IOTA today, too, but I'm going to give you that tomorrow. Oh, and I even have another V-Chain one, but I'm going to, you know, I like to keep my cryptos down to one crypto story per, per show. So V-Chain, brand new partnership. Bang! We're going to talk about that big time stuff. Big time stuff. Then finally, look, look, look. <laughs> you know how I do. You know how I love. Bang! I love watching the tsunami of money that's coming in. I love watching the institutional investors that are coming in. I love watching the infrastructure that's being built. And I love watching the regulation that gets dropped. And bang, bang. Bang. Today we got one Coinbase. <laughs> I love this title. Coinbase services whales worldwide. <laughs> Coinbase is going to service these whales worldwide, boys and boys, oh boys. If you ever had any doubt about how big this crypto market's going to be, I'll have no doubt, mother. <laughs> have no doubt, brothers. Luck, luck, motherfuckers. Have no doubt. Because the whales are getting their worldwide service, boys. Worldwide. So this is a good show. Bang, bang, bang. Let's get her done. Let's get it on. Let's do how we normally do. First, we do a little bang. And then we do a little bang. And then we hop it over to this bang. And then we do a little refresh to get the freshest numbers. Any moment now. There we go. Bang. Okay. Look at the tight range. And you know what's funny? I was going to read a story today, but the truth is it was just going to be self-gratuitous. But actually, I have a I have a story about exactly what I've been talking about, like um, flipping. Uh, we are in the tightest range, I think they said since last year sometime time. Yeah, we're in a huge tight range. And, and and so, why do you think that is, Shamari? All right, well, I'll tell you. I think this was supposed to be the pivotal moment of, of the cryptocurrency world. I told you guys that. I've been saying that since last December, right? Like, this quarter, Q1, was supposed to be the most pivotal moment of, the, of our time, right? Like, we're supposed to get our futures. Uh, well, all right, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me back that up answers to whether we get the futures and the etfs and then the reasons why not and then if anything denied fine new applications would come so just i that's what i believed like well i still know it is it is it's just that we're in that whole shut shutdown thing but and so I, I, that's why uh, so about prices so what i want to tell you about crypto is look at the fucking range we're in three six now we're at 3608 today. We were at 3666 the other day. Like, I mean, it's within a couple hundred dollars range. And for Bitcoin, that's really a tight range, right? And I think everyone's just on pause. Like, I mean, this is just total speculation, total, you know, how the fuck should I know? I mean, we know that everyone's OTCing in the background. But this is it. The weak hands are gone. The miners have stopped shorting each other. We're here until... I think, I mean, you know me, I, 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 I don't mind. You want to give me another 20% blood red? <laughs> you know me, I'm a savage. I'll eat all that up. 
But I really think that this time maybe we're we're here. Maybe this is the true. So you know, you know me. I don't like to predict anything. I don't, so I'm not going to say this is the bottom. But it just feels so tight. This range is so tight that let's see what happens. All right, that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so guys, top ten of the day. Oh, we got our usual suspects. Bitcoin, XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, EOS, Tether, Stellar, Litecoin, Tron, bang, Bitcoin SV. Let's see what, oh, okay, then we got to do this thing. Let's see what we got, what we got. Oh, we got uh, low, oh, we're on a up, low, low double, low, low single digits to mid single digits up, low to mid single digits up, low to mid single digits up. Oh, there's a big one right there, waves. Low to mid single digits up. Low to mid single digits up. Steam got something. And low to mid single digits up. All right, let's look at what is on sale today, my brothers. What do we got? What do we got? Bang! Oh, Bagheera coin. <laughs> this fucking coin here. Remember I keep telling you about that. It's a fucking, what, a truck racing company in, in, in Europe. That's funny. Aurora, all right, so top 10 on sale today. Oh, there are some sales, though, if you're into any of that stuff. All right, top 10 on sale today, brothers. Bang, Bagheera coin, Aurora, Apollo currency, 10X, Repo, Project Pay, Denticoin, Augur, Electronium, love those guys, and Factum. All right, let's see what made money today. Bang, oh, loop ring, motherfuck. 43% up on one day. All right, so top 10 earners of the day. Loopring, Ravencoin, Waves, Steam, Bitem, Redcoin, Theta, Stratus. You know I love those boys. Mixin and Bitcoin Cash. I had to tell you guys, don't sleep on that Stratus. Don't sleep on that Stratus. They got that new big Microsoft contract, and they just make blockchains for people. Whatever kind of blockchain you want. Well, you want a private blockchain? You want a public blockchain? Well, you want permission, permissionless, whatever you need. Like ordering a pizza, man. And Microsoft's down with them. Look, look, look. I don't tell you what to buy, but I tell you my opinion. Bang! Look, look, look. Let's look at the market cap of the day. 120 billion. Eee, that ain't much. 59. So last night we were at, well, we're at 14.8. So we, we went up. Was that about two? No. Oh, One billion. All right, then. All right, Ripple lovers. Here you go. Bang. There you go. Ripple lovers, Ripple lovers. That's a cool graphic. I like that. All right, though, Ripple lovers. Here you go. Ripple partner reveals plan for X Rapid as trader who called Crypto Crash predicts big move for XRP. All right. All right. Let's see what we got going down around these parts. So, Catalyst Corporate Federal Credit Union is laying out its future plans for Ripple's XRP-powered X-Rapid. Finally, guys, an X-Rapid story. I think you guys get it confused when you hear a Ripple story. And don't understand it's not X Rapid. But anyways, you have an X Rapid story today. So, CEO of Catalyst, Catherine, or sorry, Kathy, Kathy, Kathy Garner, says the firm, which serves more than 1,400 members in client credit unions. So, this is a credit union company. What they do with them, I don't know. But plans to utilize the cross-border payment solutions to boost payments to Mexico. So if you're a credit union in America, or if you're a customer in America, and you want to send money to Mexico, and you just want to send it through XRP, head to one of these credit unions, and you can do that. Of course, you could always just use Western Union, but hey, one of Catalyst Corporate's largest endeavors in 2018 was forging a strategic partnership with Ripple, the leading enterprise blockchain provider for payments. Our goal is to send international payments to Mexico. There you go. If you got to send money to Mexico, there you go. To Mexico via Ripple's blockchain solution. With this cooperative arrangement known as Currents, secure cross-border money transfers can be completed within minutes. 
All right. So Catalyst COO Brad Garney says that XRapid is giving companies a cost-effective way to ditch traditional wire transfer or wire services. The traditional international wire experience fails to meet today's expectations from a price, speed, and ease of, u- ease of use perspective. Blockchain technology, and specifically Ripple's X Rapid product, resolves all three of these challenges simultaneously, at least for your company. Catalyst Corporate, through our subsidiary company's technology platforms, will leverage the XRP digital asset to transfer money across borders instantly on behalf of our 1,400 member credit unions. We have signed a production contract. Oh, it's signed and ready to go. All right and are currently building out our plan. The firm has not yet revealed a launch date. Well, there you go, Ripple lovers. Bang! This thing, Catalyst, whatever, <clears throat> they are a credit union, and they own. They are, they are partnered with 1,400. Actually, I have a credit union right across from my house right here. Uh, they, they have 1,400 credit unions here in America, and if you want to transfer money to Mexico, bang, there you go, to Mexico, You will now be able to do it through the credit unions, and that'll be using XRP. So that's the end user, but in terms of XRP hodlers, well, there you go. There's a little little something for you guys. You got a little credit union union action to Mexico, so you can transfer money to Mexico. All right. Bang. Now let's get to some big-time stuff, though. Audit giant. Let's talk about some giants of the markets. <laughs> Not a little credit union thing, but giants. Last audit giant. Oh, motherfuckers. And I told you guys about this already. Oh, and I didn't even. Hold on, hold on. Should I show you guys? Hold on, hold on. Let me look at something real quick. Now, I'm going to leave it for tomorrow. I'm going to murder you guys tomorrow with some more V-Chain stuff, though. Watch, though. All right, so Audit Giant brings VeChain to Italy, Ministry of Economic, Italian Ministry of Economic Development. And I'll just show you right now. Here are the VeChain boys chilling out with the politicians right here, laughing their asses off. <laughs> luck, luck, luck. Bang! That's what you need. When you got the CEO and shit hanging out with the politicians laughing, luck, luck. Hold on, I got to sip some fuel. Oh, because the next one is even dirtier. Dirtier. Yes, brothers, we're having a good time again, man. I noticed, man, for the past couple weeks, you know, the shows have been a little bit, you know, I know, I know, a little tame. We haven't had the good stuff that I like, the goods, the goods. We got goods tonight. (laughs) We got goods. So let's get fueled and have a little fun. Let you marinate on that. Read that. Bang. Fuck yeah, brothers. Like I told you, uh, I, I don't tell you what to do with your money, but I give you my opinion. You want to get rich? <laughs> VeChain's going to make you fucking rich. I'm going to show you tomorrow. I'm going to give you, I'm going to drop this one article I have right now. I have two IOTA articles, actually, and two VeChain articles right now. But I didn't want to murder you with those. <laughs> Not yet. Later in the week. But look at the VeChain. L- look at this. Look at the market cap of this shit. Okay, look at the market cap, look at the price and the market cap. <laughs> this is too stupid. And then if you've been here for a while, you know, look at all the partnerships. Yeah, only $209 million. Oh, my bad, my bad, hold on. $246 million. They're not even in the billion dollar range yet. They are partnered with so many things. Watch this one that I'm about to read you. And we already know, uh, you know, with uh, the car companies, BYD and... Uh, uh, I, oh, this is the major. Anyway, this other one. If you want to make money, brothers, this one right here, V Chain, is going to make you loot, loot. Just saying, my opinion. I don't tell you what you do with your money. I don't chill. It doesn't matter to me whether you buy a thousand bucks worth of V Chain. That's not going to help me. But I'm telling you, it'll help you in the long run. So, luck, luck, luck. Let's go. Audit Giant brings V-Chain to Italian Ministry of Economic Development. Bang! 
Oh, man, we are having a good time here tonight. Man, it's been a while since we've had a good time here, brothers. The head of the Quality Assurance Giant and Certification Provider, DNYGL, introduced his outlook on VeChain to the Italian Ministry of Economic Development, the MISE. DNVGL, the world's largest classification society, with over $19 billion in revenue, <laughs> reported in 2017, is an integral service provider in the global logistics chain for over 13,000 vessels and mobile offshore units operating across 100 companies. That's the level of partnership. That's the level. And I'll tell you right now what they are, because I already read about these guys like uh, in this other thing. This part about them, this part here, like all this other, well, I mean, this other stuff is amazing, like the whole logistics and everything, but this right here, classification society do you know that rich people you know they buy a lot of stuff right and so um well very expensive stuff yeah well they have to make sure that it's legit right if i buy my wife a four carat diamond i have to make sure it's real not only is it real but that it's the type of diamond you know like there's different types of diamond pink diamonds black diamonds blue diamonds all these different types of diamonds and so if I'm a really wealthy guy, I want to make sure my shit is real. And so, or anything, anything, these wealthy people buy stuff all the time and they want to make sure it's real because there's a lot of fugazi, there's a lot of um, counterfeit out there. And so VeChain, for example, right now is huge in China right now. You know what they do? They, they classify wine. Yeah, man, wine from around the world. Uh, really rich uh, uh, Chinese guys or people, whoever, or women, wealthy individuals, high net worth individuals, yeah, when they want to, when they buy wine or champagne or something, they want to make sure it's real. VeChain does the classification for them right now. VeChain's the biggest thing right now. Everyone's using it to make sure that their, their wine and their, <laughs> their champagne and everything is real in China. Like, if you're rich, if it's VeChain approved, bang. It's like here in America, we have this thing called Zagat. Zagat is like for Jews. Jewish people, you they have to eat kosher food, right? It has to be kosher, I think, right? Well, I know they do. Well, not all of them, but the, the Orthodox ones. And so Zagat approved, whenever they see the Zagat sign on a restaurant, they know that they can go in there and eat. I believe Zagat is that's what it does. <laughs> and so that's what VeChain is in China right now for high-end spirits, you know, wine and uh, champagnes and stuff. Yeah, yeah, they're the Zagat of, of drink in, 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 in China right now. And, and it's through this DNVGL thing, and it looks like they're expanding out to all this other stuff now. All right, all right. All right, so... And this thing is huge. As we can see, 13,000 companies, 100 countries. You know, come on. Uh, Renato Grotola, the company's digital transformation director, is working closely with the National Blockchain Task Force in Italy to create a blockchain strategy for the government. In a video at MISE, Grot Grotola presents public blockchain platform VeChain and shared his views and on upcoming challenges and opportunities. And I guess this is what he said. He said, I believe our goal is to provide clear direction and support to help the government outline a national blockchain strategy. I would say diversity is a distinctive value for our country, and I think blockchain can contribute to this regard, as well as help to create a reliable and trusted environment for financial and productive processes such as supply chains. And VeChain is also big with supply chains. Remember, they're with the second largest shipping company in the world right now doing their supply chain stuff for them in China. Um, I focus on taking blockchain from digital to physical assets. Uh, much can be done. Uh, think about made in Italy. And that's the thing. So, okay, let me read it. Think about, so remember, this is an Italian guy talking, right? So he says, think about made in Italy, for instance or how much transparency we'll be able to bring to the relationship between citizens and public administration. See that made in Italy thing? That's what VeChain is gonna do. Like it's, well, not only, but that's one of the tiny little things they're gonna be a, 
they're going to be a, in the smart city in, in Guangzhou province in China. But for this company, for this, what they're going to do for this particular little company, no, well, not little, it's a big company, actually. But what they're going to do for DNV, whoops, settle down, Shamari. What they're going to do for this company, DNV VGL, and through with this guy in Italy, well, not the guy, but through the government, they're going to, so when things say made in Italy, that's what they want. They want pride in Italy again. So when it says made in Italy, they're going to use VeChain to prove Yes, this really was made in Italy. Like in Italy, you know, if you have olive oil, all of like, all right, olive oil from Italy, that's the best olive oil in the world. If you buy leather from Turkey, you know, uh, in Turkey, they make, they have a, just the best leather or something somehow. <laughs> My buddy imports leather from Turkey, right? So you get the authentication. So it's a way of authenticating the true origin of something, right? All right. So, Grotola is also a member of both the Italian Association of Independent Certification and Inspection Bodies and VeChain Steering Committee. And that's why VeChain got lucky. He, this guy's part of the steering committee <laughs> of VeChain. And so, oh, there's more. All right, all right. I thought we were over there. All right, so VeChain provides blockchain solutions for... All right, all right. Let's get real. VeChain provides blockchain solutions to various industries allowing independent physical audits, data collection, and verification services in order to track products and information. It works closely with DNVGL on my story, a VeChain powered decentralized application that enables greater transparency and assurance in the supply chain. The assurance in the supply chain. Is this bottle of wine really from Italy? Right. The New York Times reports that made in Italy products contribute at least 5% to Italy's gross domestic product. Just having the made in Italy on it is something, right? It gives it clout. And so uh, this will be, you will be assured when you have a V-Chain verified product that it truly is made in Italy. Um, however, rising costs of competition have led to malpractice, oh, have led to malpractice risks in the supply chain. Right, Fugazi, a lot of counterfeiters so blockchain-enabled solutions are designed to create a transparency required to reduce such risks. Reduce the counterfeiters. In December, MISE selected Grotalo among a group of experts to steer its strategies on blockchain integration. That's what a steering committee is. A steering committee, you know, sets the agenda for the overall committee, if you know about committee life. And anyways, so bang, that's what VeChain is doing. Yeah, that's one of the little things it does, man. And I have a whole other thing right here about uh, what VeChain's doing. Holy, man, it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, VeChain, oh, my gosh. I'm going to drop an iota one on you guys tomorrow, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I wanted to murder it tonight, but I wanted Ripple lovers because I know Ripple people. Shmori, man, why don't you report about? I know. You, these Ripple guys, They they get on me about, why don't you talk about the five banks? Or why don't you talk about this, that? So there you go. I gave you Ripple Lovers, your little, there it is, that little bank, that little, uh, the, the credit union group. There you go. There's your story. But I got real ones, like big ones. Oh, I owe to tomorrow. Watch what I do with you with tomorrow. Look, look, look. I don't tell you what to do with your money, but if you have IOTA and VeChain, son, You are good to go. Wait till I show you that shit about IOTA tomorrow. And I told you how IOTA works. I'm not even going to bullshit you. Their thing is called the Tangle, but it's a DAG. I got to remember what DAG stands for. But the more things you put on it is the faster it gets, the better it gets. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll tell you right now. I was reading this article from from a real techie, techie, techie guy this weekend. And he was talking about that DAGs might replace blockchains. Blockchains, it's an interesting concept, right? Blah, 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 distributed ledger and all that. But they don't scale. They don't scale and their transaction speeds are fucking bullshit. <laughs> IOTA's Tangle, the more shit you put on it is the faster it gets. It, it, it's crazy. Like... 
Uh, you re- watch tomorrow. Tomorrow. Remember for the IOTA story. One company is using IOTA, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, it's limitless. That's what they call it, limitless. I think they use the word infinite. Infinite transactions are possible. Uh, holy shit. Guys, all right, but for, okay, let's stay today, though. Oh, but we were talking about VeChain. Let's stay on this story. Bang, though, VeChain. Yeah, guys, so look, working product. You know we did, we're, we're, what we are around here. We're about working product. Bang, institutional investor, when they get here, what do they want to see? They want to see you have a working product with brand name corporations. Brand name, like this. Brand name. You see what I'm saying? Brand name, right? What do I always tell you guys? Uh, I'm down with projects that are with either working, wor- uh, sorry, major corporations or major governments. And that's it. All right, let's get on. Bang, you're talking. All right, look, look, look. So look, I bring up this story now. Let's get out of the crypto world and into the, well, I mean, this is the same crypto world, but not coins. Let's get into the infrastructure now. Bang, what matters? Look, look, look. Coinbase adds cross-border wire transfers for whales in Europe and Asia. These motherfuckers aren't joking around. Let me read something to you first before I talk. (laughs) I'm so tempted. You know how I do. I just talk. But look, look, look. Crypto exchange Coinbase is launching cross-border wire transfers. Actually, and the transfers using Swift, not XRPs. (laughs) Uh, That's another story. Um... For institutional clients in Asia, the UK, and Europe. Coinbase said in an announcement Tuesday that for clients in countries where fiat payments rails aren't yet available, their firm will now support inbound and outbound. Oh, they do tell you about SWIFT. SWIFT transfers for non-US bank accounts. It added, this new feature will allow Coinbase customers in many countries Throughout Asia and EMEA, what? Uh, To access Coinbase deep pool of crypto liquidity for the first time. Now listen to this. Uh, This is what I'm saying. Like, so I bring up this story in that Coinbase. Look, look, look. (laughs) I'm really enjoying. So I'll say this. I'm really enjoying watching Coinbase. Like they're spreading their tentacles. Like throughout the world. Watch this. Watch what I read to you. Simultaneously, the firm said it will offer new bang OTC trading desks for Europe. Oh, sorry, US and European customers, as well as trading and custody services for large volume clients in Asia. So, all right, so let's get let's get real. You want some OTC in Europe and and, and, and America? Bang. Now they give it to you. You see what they're doing? They're really opening up. And I'll tell you, the truth of the story is what it, the truth of the story is about they're opening up in Asia. That's the truth. Like, really why I bring this up? Bang. Coinbase is heading to fucking Asia. And they're allowing those Asian guys, all right, all right, we don't have official, um, uh, services in your country, but don't worry. We'll take your, we'll take your wire transfers. Bang. You see what I'm saying? They're not stupid. They're not stupid. Look, look, look. They know the Asians are going to come online. So, what did we read yesterday? What was it? Thailand came with that shit with their with their with their with their stock exchange, right? And Malaysia, we read last week. Coinbase is like, look, look. Before many more Asians come online, we better go get that loot. <laughs> look, it's a war, brothers. It's a it's a race. It's a race. It's a race to the finish. All right. Look at this. All right, brothers. So for the latter service, Asian traders will have access to the USDC stablecoin, which is backed by a dollar reserves held by the exchange, while certain Coinbase Prime customers uh, will also be able to use its custody cold storage service as well. Bang. Meanwhile, the company's OTC desks will ensure that large volume trades, large volume trades, will have a minimal impact on crypto prices. Bang! According to the announcement, to protect user privacy, it noted 
that counterparty information is confidential. Remember we talked about counterparty. Remember we talked about OTC. If you're new here, over the counter. OTC, over the counter. I don't buy, if I'm an OTC type of guy, say I'm a billionaire, I don't buy from Binance my, my, my Bitcoins. I want a thousand Bitcoins. Binance can't handle that. So I buy what's called over the counter. And I go to a broker, it's an over OTC broker, and he knows all the miners. So I, drew, I buy directly from Bitcoin miners. So today, for instance, if I'm an OTC guy today, the price of Bitcoin today is, what, 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 what is it right now? 3,608. Maybe if I'm gonna buy 1,000 Bitcoin, if I'm an OTC type guy with a billion dollars, yeah, I get to go to a broker and I get to tell the broker, listen, you tell those miners, I'm willing to pay 3,300 each and I'll buy a thousand of them right now. And that's how OTC works, okay? And that's why it doesn't really affect the price. You know, you wonder why, man, all these people are buying all this stuff OTC. Yeah, because they're actually buying it lower than us. They never buy at the spot. So it doesn't drive the spot up because they're not here with us. They're buying it lower than us um, or lower than the market price discovered, has discovered, right? So, all right, so that's how that works. And so, meanwhile, the company's OTC desk will ensure that large volume trades will have a minimal impact. All right, we talked about that. Coinbase's OTC desk is agency only, meaning that we never trade on a principal basis or against our clients. And Coinbase never trades on a proprietary basis, the exchange said. <clears throat> I taught you guys about this last summer. What happens is, when you're on E-Trade, E-Trade knows that 80% of its clients, yeah, they're nine to five worker guys. They don't know fuck all about markets. So in six months, 80% of people in, on, on E-Trade lose their accounts in six months. Their accounts are blown. So what they do is they trade against you. When you buy 1,000 Microsoft, yeah, they sell 1,000 Microsoft. They just, their algorithm, their computer's algorithms are just trained to go against every trade you make. It just goes the opposite. And they know that within six months, you will blow your account. Meaning, if you have a $10,000 account with E-Trade, they know in, 10, in, in six months, that's gone. Yeah, so when they make those computers go against you, that computer will make $10,000. You understand? And so that's what Coinbase is saying. We're not going to do that. Now, look, look, I don't want you to get twisted or anything. If you made a bad trade, you made a bad trade. The fact that E-Trade trades against you isn't against you. I mean, doesn't affect your trades. You you fuck up your own trade. So don't, you know, if you ever had a trading account out there and you're like, oh, that's why I fucked up. No, motherfucker, you fucked up because you fucked up. Because I'm a Forex trader. And when I trade in an exchange, you know what I get? After a couple of months, a phone call. It's called the call. Oh, hi, Mr. Clark. Hi, we'd like to offer you special rates. Yeah, you know why? Because I win trades. And so their computers, in other words, I fucked them up. I've been taking their money, making their computers lose. And so now... They offer me the special rates and all that stuff because now they're going to make their computers trade with me. And that's what happens. That's what really happens in the back, the back end of things, guys. I mean, but it doesn't affect your trades. If you don't, if you're making bad trades, you're losing on your own. It's not because of what they're doing. So the exchange said, wow, that was long winded. <laughs> so the exchange said it was targeting crypto first hedge funds, crypto first. You know what a hedge fund is? A hedge fund can invest in anything in the world. That's the difference between a hedge fund and a mutual fund. A mutual fund is only allowed to invest in stocks or whatever it's going to invest in. But it's only allowed to invest in whatever asset it's going to invest in, but only for it to go up. You understand? A mutual fund is only allowed to invest. So if your mutual fund is invested in Microsoft, Facebook, Ford, Boeing, yeah, it's only for them to go up. If those assets go down, <laughs> Your fund, that fund loses. Now, um, hedge funds, they're allowed to do anything they want. That's why in America, you're not allowed, like, I mean, I don't know how rich you are. If you're that rich where you're allowed to use a hedge fund, I don't know why you're watching me. But, well, I mean, I am smart. So, But, but look, hedge funds, to be in a hedge fund, regular guys like you and I, we can't go to hedge funds. You have to be what's called an accredited investor. You have to apply to the government here and prove to the government of America that you you can lose, I don't remember how many millions of dollars and still be fine, like to keep your wife and your children within the comfort that you have them in. And 
that's called what's that's what's called being an accredited investor. I told you guys go to go to Investopedia when you're here so you can learn stuff. Accredited investor. And so um so because the reason being is because a hedge fund a hedge fund can do anything. A hedge fund is allowed to invest your money in anything. <laughs> anything. MBS, CDOs, anything. Shadow banking, bonds, stocks, forex, anything, long or short. Anything. And and so that's the power of them. That's the power of them. And so what I'm what I'm trying to say to you is that I guess what I'm so what's the point, motherfucker? So the point is, is that Coinbase is going to uh, is targeting crypto first hedge funds. So like I said, a hedge fund can uh, invest in anything. Coinbase is saying, are you crypto first? In other words, what's your portfolio looking like? Right? Um, 60% in crypto, blah, 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 in bonds, stocks, blah, blah, fine. Crypto first. All right. As well as traditional trading firms family offices and endowments with the additions uh with the additions which come as expanded services for coinbase pro and prime base customers in the regions uh the services will be available immediately bang coinbase is not fucking around so coinbase is first announced it had opened an otc trading desk last november otc trading desk that's that over-the-counter stuff i was telling you about so to oversee the exchange's institutional sales, Coinbase has appointed former U.S. institutional sales head Kayvon Piristani to head up the same task in Asia based out of its Tokyo office. Bang! So, well, the reason I bring that up is, awesome for Coinbase, but the reason I bring it up is, is this, brothers. Yeah, Shamari always has an ulterior motive, and this is the ulterior motive. You're not a fucking big fund like this. You're not a, a company like this opening up all this stuff to all these people unless you know what? Bang! That institutional investors are demanding it. Demanding it. In other words, watching how Coinbase spreads its tentacles around the world, we know that the money is on the way. The money is on the way. You don't open up offices worldwide, globally. Look how fast they're doing it. Look how fast they're opening their offices. Last year, bang, Europe, Bang, England, right? Uh, you know, and, and just expanding services everywhere, right? Yeah, yeah, they're not stupid. They're not stupid. Bang, the institutional investor money is coming. Look, look, build a cryptocurrency warehouse. Nice. Build it nice. All right, brothers. We've talked about this before. Build it nice. Build it strong. Because here it comes. Worldwide. Worldwide markets, boys. Bang. All right, brothers. Bang, let's get the shout outs and airdrops. Bang. All right. <laughs> what do we got here? Oh, airdrop out. Son of a bitch. Bang, bang, bang. See you, brother. Bang. And he told me, so he taught me, or and so you can go here. So how it works is, so yesterday that, that Tron thing, we were talking about how Tron's going to give you all those one-to-one. -one. It's not one-to-one -one as in right now. Whatever you hold, I guess, they're kind of going to give it to you over time. See how it says right here, over time? So, and then they, someone complains, someone needs to make this clear. So, but you're still going to get your airdrop, but it's not as big as we thought. All right. Let's do this. Crypto times. Bang. See you, brother. Bang. Hurricane Master. See you, brother. Bang. Radster. See you, brother. Bang. Yes, Radstar. What do we got? Bob, see you, brother. Bang. 84411320. Bang. Learn about airdrops. Try to find some. Get some. Bang. All right. What do we got? Oh, there he is. DP Entertainment. Bang. What do we got? Tigerfish. Bang. Poppy Wood. <laughs> Let's look at him one more time from yesterday. Look at him with his new Tron card. He loves it. He loves it. He's got the Tron shirt. He's got the Tron card. I'm sure that's some sort of Tron hat. That's our brother DJ Pollywood. He's a DJ. So you know how DJs are. You know, they're always cool guys. So bang. Yes, Pollywood. Love you, brother. Bang. All right. What do we got? 
And then we went through these ones yesterday. We already went through this. Rats right everyone in the bed. All right, bang. So fuck it all. Let's get you back to your wives and lives then. Bang. Let's go bang. And then let's go bang. And let's go bang. Look, look, look. We had a good show today. So Ripple Lovers, here you go. You got a, uh, you got uh, one of your, you have a partnership with a company that has 1,400 American credit unions. And if you feel like sending money to Mexico, well, there you go. You can send it through the credit union. I mean, you could always send it through Western Union, <laughs> but whatever. Through the credit union. So, Ripple Lovers, there you go. Bang, V-Chain. Now, 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 we're talking real shit. Bang, another major partnership. So, guys, like I always tell you, look, look, I don't tell you what to do with your money, but look, having more V-Chain will be better than having less when the institutional investors arrive. Major partnerships. Major partnerships. That's what they're going to be looking for. They don't give a fuck about white papers. They don't give a fuck about dreams and shit. They're going to be here, you know, investing in stuff. The institutional investors are going to invest in cryptocurrency projects that are partnered with major corporations, the corporations that they're used to, right? Yeah, Microsoft, IBM, Audi, Volkswagen, etc., etc. brand names. And so try to get your stuff on there. Right. And then bang, Coinbase, servicing the whales worldwide. <laughs> I like the way they said that. Servicing whales worldwide. Yep, that's it, man. Look, if you're a company, you know, Obviously, you know these whales want this stuff, so, and that's why it's good news for us, showing us, remember, this is a global market. I don't care where the money comes from. It comes from America, it comes from Europe, it comes from Asia. Just bring the money in this market, grab my V-chains and IOTAs and my other stuff, and let's get it on. All right, brother, so good. Guys, let's chill it and kill it. Bang, guys, thank you for coming out. This, my name's Shamar Clark. You know I love doing this for you. Please subscribe below. Press the bell so that you can get automatic updates every time I do these. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, love you guys. Uh, yeah, I'm always on duty. I'm, all, you know, watching everything, guys. So, look, look, look. It's Shamar Clark. Always on duty, guys. See you tomorrow. Bang. Over and out.